a chapter a day to brighten your way. Follow God closely in this colorful world. Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Isaiah chapter 23. This chapter is the last of Isaiah's prophecies to the nations. Tyre was a famous commercial city at the time, and its sailors, merchants, and explorers were renowned throughout the world. Since the beginning of Solomon's reign, Tyre and Israel had a close relationship. But this caused Tyre to deeply influence Israel, leading them to turn to worship idols and stray further away from God. Let's read chapter 23 together. Isaiah chapter 23 The Oracle Concerning Tyre Wail, O ships of Tarshish, for Tyre is laid waste without house or harbor. From the land of Cyprus it is revealed to them. Be still, O inhabitants of the coast. The merchants of Sidon, who cross the sea, have filled you. And on many waters your revenue was the grain of Shihor, the harvest of the Nile. You were the merchant of the nations. Be ashamed, O Sidon, for the sea has spoken. The stronghold of the sea, saying, I have neither labored nor given birth. I have neither reared young men nor brought up young women. When the report comes to Egypt, they will be in anguish over the report about Tyre. Cross over to Tarshish, wail, O inhabitants of the coast. Is this your exultant city whose origin is from days of old, whose feet carried her to settle far away? Who has purposed this against Tyre, the bestower of crowns, whose merchants were princes, whose traders were the honored of the earth? The Lord of hosts has purposed it, to defile the pompous pride of all glory, to dishonor all the honored of the earth. Cross over your land like the Nile, O daughter of Tarshish. There is no restraint any more. He has stretched out his hand over the sea. He has shaken the kingdoms. The Lord has given command concerning Canaan to destroy its strongholds. And he said, You will no more exult, O oppressed virgin daughter of Sidon. Arise, cross over to Cyprus. Even there you will have no rest. Behold, the land of the Chaldeans. This is the people that was not. Assyria destined it for wild beasts. They erected their siege towers. They stripped her palaces bare. They made her a ruin. Wail, O ships of Tarshish, for your stronghold is laid waste. In that day, Tyre will be forgotten for seventy years like the days of one king. At the end of seventy years, it will happen to Tyre as in the song of the prostitute. Take a harp, go about the city, O forgotten prostitute. Make sweet melody, sing many songs, that you may be remembered. At the end of seventy years, the Lord will visit Tyre, and she will return to her wages, and will prostitute herself with all the kingdoms of the world on the face of the earth. Her merchandise and her wages will be holy to the Lord. It will not be stored or hoarded, but her merchandise will supply abundant food and fine clothing for those who dwell before the Lord. As a city of commerce, Tyre was full of people's pride and power. It also symbolized that the glory and wealth of this world will not last forever. Dear friends, without a firm footing, it's difficult not to be attracted to the trends, wealth, and colorful life of the world. Let's pray together and ask God to give us a heart that fears Him and relies on Him. I believe that only God's love and grace will accompany us forever. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please give me a focused gaze and a reverent heart. No matter how tempting the world may be, I will steadfastly follow your heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.